to my first hour YouTube video. Uh, I know it's gonna be a little bit awkward, I know. I have a German accent, um, but we just keep ignoring it. I decided to make a YouTube video for you guys, for my 5k followers on Instagram. Thank you so much. I only post my random uh, yeah, crochet stuff like this guy behind me and yeah I'm really thankful for that and I'm really thankful if you would also leave me a follow here or a like on this video it would be yeah very much appreciated what better way to do a YouTube video than make a little tutorial it's a Junimo from Stadio Valley if you didn't know materials what we need today the main body color also black uh, because Junimo's legs are black. We need a five millimeter hook. Yeah, to get this size. You could do any kind of yarn, any kind of hook. Yeah, I just really like the size how it is. Stitch markers. And um, we also need some eyes. We need some wire. This is pretty much optional, but as you can see, the pebble here is standing up and yeah, we crochet some wire in here. And also you need a needle uh, with a big hole to kind of shape him, yeah? Okay, also um, I'm gonna play some yarn chicken today and try to make it pink again. So let's get started with the tutorial. We are gonna take our yarn and we start with the pink one. So this one is totally optional, but I'm using from a matching ring a normal kind of cheap yarn this one was i don't know from the doll store and instead of making a normal magic ring if you know how this works i do it a little bit differently with plush yarn because sometimes it's only breaking on you so you're gonna make with the normal yarn your circle and then you take your plush yarn. I'm sorry if I'm bad at explaining, <laughs> but you can see it. This is all you need. So, and you take your five millimeter hook and instead of making the everything with the plush yarn, you just crochet into the normal yarn into the circle. So I hold it like this. I go underneath this yarn and take the plush yarn. So you pull the loop through and then you, the first one is the hardest one, as you can see, take and pull through the loop again. So now we have this happening here. <laughs> so, and this one is not counting as a stitch. So now we are holding everything together and crochet six single crochet into the magic ring so we do one we're always gonna take these two and don't crochet this these three within so I'm only gonna hold it like this <laughs> so I try to hold every yarn with my fingers here and just go between so two, three, so on five, six. Now you can count if you have six. I don't think I do. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Yeah. And six. So it should look like this. So normally your magic ring would be like, this would be also the pink plush yarn, but instead it's the thin kind of yarn. And now you're gonna take the ends from oh, the thin yarn and pull. Ta-da! And this is your magic ring. Hope this helps some of you guys. And the next round is an increase in every stitch so don't worry about this yarn it's just gonna hide with everything else in the Junimo later 
I try to count backwards here from the hook. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We go in the whoop. first stitch here and one single crochet and two single crochet. So this is one increase, yeah. So in the second we do one single crochet, two single crochet, and it's the second one. Then the third one. So now we should have 12 stitches. We count again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So perfectly. Now this is the time where I start using a stitch marker. Look at this. It's so adorable. Before we place um, our stitch marker, we need to do one single crochet in the next one. So. And then we can place the stitch marker in here. Ta-da! How cute! So the next round is gonna be we do one single crochet in the first stitch and we do an increase in the second. So yeah, every two stitches uh, we increase. So this one is an increase. Done. Normal single crochet, increase, increase, single crochet, increase. For those of you who wonder how I can keep track, this is how. So we end on an increase always. If you don't, you probably miscounted something. For round four, <laughs> say this four times first again, five rounds. We do only single crochet around and it's always gonna be 18 single crochets. So five rounds to keep a track of our rounds. I like to use uh, fidget poppers. So we start with, a, with the first round. Do our stitch marker, open it. <laughs> Not the easiest stitch mark of all time, I must admit. So we single crochet one, put back our stitch marker, and then single crochet the rest of the stitches around. I'm really uh, afraid this yarn is not. <laughs> last for the whole chunimu so all i'm filming right now is for the cat as we say in germany <laughs> so we will see so for the second round we make one single crochet we'll put back our stitch marker and single crochet around don't forget the pop <laughs> so if you would like me to do any kind of specific YouTube tutorial or something like that, techniques uh, you want to see or something, just let me know in the comments. I'm <laughs> up to everything and also check out my Instagram. Uh, I have another free yeah, pattern on there. And for those of you who not very familiar with uh, crushing, plushing or something like that or general new to the plushy game. This one is the outside and this one is the inside so where the yarn is sticking out and you also can see it a little bit. The stitches look kind of different. On this side the stitches look really clean and um, you turn it around and crochet on this side so you don't need to flip it at the end also I'm gonna cut these now a little bit shorter because they're going in my way yeah and now we're crocheting three more rounds 
we finished round five and we have yeah a little egg here i guess now we put in the eyes at the end it's uh, totally up to you where you put your eyes i put my eyes in between row six and seven so one two three four five six and seven i put one eye in at the end it doesn't really dip depends much where you put your eyes since it's a round shape and I put them four stitches apart so one two three four uh, and we put the backers in a lot of you guys ask me in my reel if I don't do that but I just didn't do it in this one because I tried out the little guys so they're not even um, tight but if I were to put them at the end or if you forget to put your eyes in just hot glue them in I just searched for the backers for five minutes to realize it's just in my case where I put them in advance for the video so <laughs> um, okay we need two. I hope they fit. If not, we're gonna make them fit. A little bit tight here. So the last round we did was the round eight. So now we're at round nine. We put in the hook again. Open up the stitch marker and single crochet one in the next stitch. So for round nine, we decrease every second stitch. So we have one single crochet and one decrease. I really can't decide how to do a decrease. Um, and I don't really know the difference between them because I don't really crochet for that long. So for this guy, I do, I think it's called the invisible decrease. Um, we only gonna use the front loop pull through, go into the second pull through, now we have three loops on our hook and we pull through all three of them, so one single crochet and now decrease in the front loop, pull through, in the next front loop, pull through and through all of them. So, I don't know, I don't really see a difference between if you take the whole thing and just pull through or if you just do it with the front loops, to be honest. I don't know if you just do it because it's easier, but uh, as you can see I did one where I pulled through the hole and the other ones were just the front loop so I don't really see a difference here um, and I always do it like I'm feeling right now so <laughs> do what you feel right now we end on a decrease so yeah for now our egg gets a little bit longer and now we fill him we take some stuffing I know this one is kind of a little bit of weird <laughs> my mother-in-law just send our birthday presents in stuffing so i'm gonna use it <laughs> why not so we stuff him as much as we can and if you think hmm, do i have enough stuffing yet should i do a little bit more do more most of the time it's not enough and because we're gonna shape him later we're gonna squish the stuffing anyways so Stuff, stuff, stuff. And as you can see, he's now gone not an eggy anymore, more like a ball. <laughs> Let's just compare. Looking good. So, for the last round of the body, we just decrease six times this is gonna be around 10 
The last one that I don't really use a stitch marker because I can count to six most of the time. So we start with the first decrease. One, two, three. Most of the time it's a little bit tight on the last round, but at the end it doesn't really matter. Do, do, do. <laughs> We have this left for the petal. I think we're good. <laughs> if not, I use green for the petal. <laughs> so now we have our little ball here. We'll fill him a little bit more. Now we cut our yarn and we leave it a little bit longer because we need it to shape him later. I think. Yeah, I don't know it's probably too long but just in case I leave a long tail pull it through gently because plush yarn doesn't like to be pulled through at the end <laughs> so and now we pull it tight and now we need our needle so now before I start we have our six loops here and to close him off we just insert our needle in the front loop again like we did with the decreases and we just sew him shut like this so we only go through the front loop and plush yarn really doesn't want to be bent like in a certain direction so I try to pull it as smoothly through as possible. So I don't know if I'm already in every loop. Uh, the last one I will do again. So we're gonna shape him. So we have our needle already through and we pulled it tight here. So we now insert it into the top of him. I try to put my needle through the middle here so I insert it here and I try to come out on the middle here like totally in the magic wing we started with so we pull it through and the Junimo has kind of an apple shape so we pull the yarn and now you can see this is happening. I pull really tight. And now I try to first of all hold the yarn. And then we came out of this hole. So if you were to insert here, you just yeah would release it again. So we need to go here yeah, next to it. So hmm, we go through here and come out at the top again. Oh, yeah, I lost it, so we go out through the top. I don't pull this tight on the bottom, but oh, but you can see now it's getting a shape. We do this one more time. I the middle here, come out in the middle down here. Oh, lost my yarn. Pull through pull it tight and insert it here again not in the same hole now we just squish him a little bit so he gets his form now you can see we put a lot of stuffing in but you still can form it as you like also it would be possible to just sew on a plush here yeah it would have been easier if you just do it yeah, when you didn't already close it but you can also put a blush on afterwards so now we have the shape I'm not gonna cut the long tail as you can see it was too long as I expected um, I'm leaving it on and now we're gonna move on to the petal we use the same color as the body you could use a uh, green as well but we start with a slip knot if you don't know how to do a slip knot I do it like this I have the start of the yarn down here and I just 
yeah put it around my fingers and now you could also use your hook and insert it in the first loop and pull through the second loop and now you have the yeah the loop <laughs> my english is breaking right now we need to make it fast for the pedal it's a little bit hard to explain but just look and follow me so for the first thing we do we chain three so one two three yes the next thing we do we make a half double crochet in the second from the hook so this one is the first one from the hook and this one is the second one so we have double crochet into the second one of the chain and then pull through so we have now one stitch left and we make another half double crochet in the last stitch of the chain so now we have a blob here for the next part we're gonna crochet on the other side so this was our chain we half double crochet here half double crochet here and now we're gonna start at this point again so in the other side of the chain I guess so we make another half double crochet so we pull the yarn over the hook and insert it into the first on the other side half double crochet so we have a blob here and now we single crochet into the next so it doesn't really look like anything right now <laughs> I know um, but trust the process now we chain two one two and now in the second from the hook again we single crochet so we single crochet in here so now what we see now here is kind of the top of the leaf and what we just gonna do we connect them together here so we just insert a hook in here and make a slip stitch so we pull through this loop and we pull it through this loop so now we cut the yarn Oop, we can make a short cut here pull it through and yeah that's the leaf that's all it is as you can see here is the top of the leaf and yeah here's the bottom so i just uh, use my needle and yeah sew in sew oh, i don't know i have problems with the word um the ends <laughs> just kind of thread them in i as you can see here i did the chain so where you chain to a little bit loose so it is a little bit loose here in my first attempt it's a little bit more point here that's because because I made the chain to a little bit tighter I guess and then it creates a little bit more of a point as here but I'm just gonna leave it like that so now we have our body and our leaf it's a cute little apple <laughs> and the yeah last thing we do are arms and yeah the stem from the leaf I guess so we start with the more simpler thing here we take our black yarn and the arms are totally simple so we just make a slip knot with the black yarn here as we did with the leaf so we pull it around our fingers, boop, pull it through, totally the same. I don't really like this yarn here, I don't uh, tell you which brand it is, but as you can see, um, this one is a lot more smoother, this one is a little bit more, yeah, frizzled, yeah, but we just ignore that. I use the same yarn here and you can't really tell. We start with the arm so we have our slip knot on our hook and we just leave it here and now we're gonna take our tuning mode because we hate sewing we just insert the arms uh, while we crochet we insert our hook 
three stitches from the eyes. So one, two, three. I insert it right here. So as you can see, the arm is here. Pull it through and make a slip stitch. So we pull it through the slip knot as well. So we chain three, one, two, three. So the arm looks a little bit longer than the original. Don't worry about it because I'm gonna cut the yarn here. Then I pull it tight. So now you can see it's already a little bit shorter. I pull it tight on both ends. Now I cut it at the end. And now the fun part is coming. We just burn it down. So, and now the arm isn't as long as uh, it looks. So now it looks a little bit funky because <laughs> He's stretching out the arm but we just make another arm on this side and then insert the black yarn in itself make a knot and then it's gonna look like the first I take my needle uh, I insert it into where we started the arm and come out yeah at the booty <laughs> so oh like this. Now you can see it looks a lot better already. So now we take another arm, the other arm, another arm. We insert it as well into here. Came out at the booty at the same hole as the other yarn. As the other. I, I just put another on everything. And now make a knot Boop. I make two and we cut this again so now we have our little armies isn't he cute he. and I just uh, take my sewing needle and push it right into there you don't see nothing now the legs are literally the same so we already did the both arms three stitches away from the eyes so for the legs we do yeah kind of the same we go one two three and I insert here between the stitches right there under the eyes so one two three down the eyes we slip stitch Boop. I hope you can see this with black yarn slip stitch and then chain three one two three and now we check if the leggy is where I want it to be cut the yarn pull through pull it tight cut the yarn here boop, and burn down the leggy I burn this yarn a little bit more don't worry because it's so frizzy and it looks better burnt to be honest um, now we repeat now we have both of the leggies done and we do the same as for the arms we insert our sewing needle um, yeah we just insert it Boop. we get out in the same stitch as for the first leg we pull it tight make another knot Boop. cut the yarn and cut the yarn a little bit more 
like this. And now we just stuff the knot inside. No problemo. So, oh, oh my God, look at him. I don't know why, but the, the leggies go out like this. Um, yeah. <laughs> He looks so funny, why? So. <laughs> I don't know if that looks similar. It looks like the legs on the original are a little bit shorter. No, they're not. I just burned them a lot. <laughs> okay, so beware of the burning part. We are finally almost done the last thing we do and this is yeah optional but I used a wire because the Junimos always have like the stem out here and I really loved how it looked but you just could make it without the wire we take a little bit of the wire and <laughs> ignore the magnet stuck in my wire Now, better look away, I'm just cutting the wire with my sharp scissors because I like my scissors to get dull. <laughs> we don't need that much because as you can see the stem isn't that long, it's just four chains and that's all we gonna do. We take our black yarn again, make a slip knot. Now I'm just... <laughs> Repeating myself for a hundred times. Yeah, I know but now it's gonna be different. Then we take our wire and Put it on to the yarn and now we just the yarn over the wire so Chain one Now the yarn is over the wire now I go under the wire and chain two. Then now I go over it three. And for the last time under it and four chains. So now we chain four. Don't lose the loop here chain four over the wire. I hope this makes sense, yeah? I just go under, over, under, over, so we always have the wire over it. As you can see, the wire is a lot longer than the chain. Didn't finish off, we leave the hook inside. Now we're gonna take our paddle, insert the hook into the leaf, and now we make a slip stitch. So pull the yarn through, and just pull it through the back. Now it, behind it looks yeah, really clean and in front it also looks really clean, clean. And now we cut the yarn. Boop. And we leave the other yarn. So I pull through my hook. <sighs> I hate it so much. So now we have a lot of black fluff here my favorite thing of all what i do next because we have the wire still inside i just put the wire you can use your scissors you hate and just pull it a little bit more closer to the end and i just bend it oh the sound and stuff it right in so nobody is gonna hurt him so now it's just a loop inside and nobody's gonna see it and you can't pull it through anymore easy peasy now I just make a knot with the black yarn and the pink yarn Ooh, and pull, 
pull the petal completely apart. Oopsie. Now make a knot with the other. I know it looks so messy. Guys, I'm so sorry. It's always like that. I start with a clean desk and then my desk looks like this. Completely messy. So, now we cut the yarn here. I must say as tight as possible. If somebody has tips on how to make a clean end on plush yarn, please let me know. I always just use my lighter <laughs> and then pull it in, I guess, or pull the last one out and then you can't see the fluff anymore. And also it's on the back. Who needs to see that? <laughs> on the last one it looks better. So cut, burn. Why does it look so ugly this time? <laughs> In the front it looks good. I don't know, man. <laughs> so, I think it's probably of the few knots I did, but we just keep on going and look from the front. So now we have our long ass wire. I cut it down a bit, like this. And now it's the only sewing part, I guess, we're gonna do. So, just brush away the mess. We stick our paddle inside Junimo <laughs> like this. Boop. No problem. Now the metal wire is inside and now I'm gonna use my sewing needle. Hello. And pull it through I inserted right into the middle and came out in the back here. So now we have our paddle. So I will use this long as yarn as well and insert it as well inside on top of. Oh my god. I hate the black yarn so much. So we come out here on the back, pull it also through. I also pull it tight since it's the shaping yarn we did at the start. And now we make a knot. Boop and boop. And we cut the yarn. So we just ignore how the paddle looks from behind or the Junimo. We just look in the front and he looks cute. We punch through. So, isn't he looking cute? We just roll our problems away. We also clean up our Junimo. Now, they have little friends. Isn't it cute how this petal looks on this side and this petal? I know. Who knows if this is a leaf or a petal? <laughs> yeah, maybe it's a leaf, but we just ignore it. For final optional touches, you could just sew in the blush from the beginning when you insert the eyes and not them um, inside. But um, I forgot, so we just do it afterwards because we want to see which one was the first Junimo. So we make him a plush and the first one stays like this. I will use some really light pink yarn. Cut a little bit of it, really not much. We're gonna insert in the middle of the eyes. So we start here and come out 
underneath the eye. We hold the yarn in the middle. Now we're gonna sew between that. And I'd like to do a second one so the brush gets a little bit thicker. How cute is that? We go through to the other side of the yarn. Ice of the ice, bro. And now we come out where we started. Look how cute is he. You just could also do the blush with some pigment or eyeshadow. Now we make a knot. Ooh. Man, so much floof in here. Boop. Boop. Cut. I think the Junimo is the perfect keychain size. So you could just also insert a keychain in the middle of, of the beak, <laughs> not of the beak, of the stem or inside of here. But you could also do a little Junimo army. <laughs> So guys, thank you so much for watching. Now you can do your own little Junimo and I really want to see you guys trying them out. Tag me on Instagram. Name is the same as in YouTube. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Mm -hmm.